All right, good morning, everyone. It is the AM Icebreaker for Friday, Friday, March 16th. And I uh, hope you guys are having a great morning. Hope you guys have set yourself on, on the path to do what needs to be done, to have a good day. And if not, well, you know what I'm going to say? I'm going to say fix that. Think about the one thing you can do over the next, I don't know, week, day, hour even, that's going to get you at least head in the direction you need to be going. And hey, if it, maybe maybe it takes a month. That's fine. Just Just start. Just do it. Or stay on the grind keep going stay on that path um you know i i had some topics for today but i think i'm just gonna i'm, I'm just gonna ramble today i think i'm just gonna like uh, set the clock for a certain amount of time and just talk about everything i thought about i've been thinking about since uh i don't know since i got up this morning and uh we'll, we'll see how that goes i, I was gonna i was gonna set the, the, the clock for five minutes but have you have you ever seen those internet videos like on like say internet videos? God, I sound so old. Have you ever seen those videos on YouTube that are you know that are always a certain length? And you know, and I've heard from people like, oh no no, you want to make your videos at least n long, and and you should always make them the same. You know, like you know, it's it's like a consistency thing. But I I don't know some people, and and I've fallen into this trap too. You know, I I feel I definitely feel like on some of these I've gotten to the point where it's like oh, I'm just saying things to fill time. Like I really hate that. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna call anybody out, but yeah, there's a, there's a guy whose videos I used to watch a lot. And sometimes I still do like if, you know, if he pops up a video and the topic looks cool and it's, uh, <clears throat> and I'm like, oh yeah, I watched that. But you know, inevitably it's, you know, about halfway into the video, it's like, okay, now you're just kind of saying things because you have to make your videos 10 minutes long. So I don't know, note to content creators, maybe I, I, if you're a content creator, I'd love to hear, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Like, do you really think... Do you think videos should always be a certain length and the same length, or do you think it's more about the value of the content? Like if, you know, if somebody posted, say, a two-minute video that was just really well done, would, would that be cool? I mean, it, it, there must be something to that, right? Because well, of movie trailers. But, um, yes, I was thinking about what I, what I was saying, I think, I think yesterday. I know, I know one of the things I've talked about a lot this week was, was communities and, and, you know, and building good communities, being, being a good, base, just a good member of, of, you know, the tribe. And I was, uh, I forget what I was watching, but the idea of exclusivity came up. You know, I think that's something we don't talk about enough. I think, um, I, I think we've kind of gone down this weird path where, where inclusivity has become this kind of odd buzzword. And I, I think we need to be careful with that. You know, I'm not saying inclusivity is bad, but I, I think there's definitely something, something to be said for making people, you know, like, like, uh, you know, Nassim Talib says, put put a little skin in the game, you know, I mean, make make people buy into your community, make people, you know, have, you know, it, it's okay, I mean, think about it, that's, that's kind of how the world works, I mean, you know, if you want a job somewhere, you, it, you know, you don't just get to walk up and get a job, I mean, I didn't, you know, and I've worked for some really kind of prestigious-ish companies, and yeah, you don't just get to say, hey, um, I want to work here, okay, cool, come on in, I mean, that's, that's why they're, that's why those companies are where they are, right, because they have that, actually, you know, they hire, they only hire the best people, and I think, you know, all the good communities I've been part of, it's the same way. And some of them start as open or some of them start with like a really low buy-in. But like I said the other day, you know, it's, it's okay to, to start filtering those things out and people do that. So, I mean, that, that too is, you know, is a degree of exclusivity. So, yeah, man, I, I you know, I don't want to go too far down that rabbit hole because I think that, that gets into, uh, then I'm going to start getting into weird social, you know, social dynamic ranty territory. And like you guys know, I don't like to rant too much on social stuff politics any of that so um you know an exclusivity this, this is a cool uh, a cool little term i heard a friend of mine say exclusivity breeds positivity and it, it can you know um and and uh positivity i think is important um I, I think that's uh it's funny i was i was thinking about how i was thinking yesterday actually about how much like just having a positive outlook you know kind of affects everybody and, and taking positive actions and um, so sometimes, take, you know, some, sometimes, you know, you have to stop and think and you have to stop and take a breath and that's OK. But, you know, think about like, you know, so th this is a very, very like like little specific example. But I was um, I was waiting for the bus the other day. And, you know, so so I look up buses. Come, I, see, I actually see two buses. I'm like, oh, that's odd. The first bus comes up, fly by the but the driver kind of signals out the, you know, kind of points, you know, his thumbs back at the bus behind him. So I was like, oh, OK, I guess we should take that bus. And, um, you know, and we, I have no idea why. Maybe he, something had happened to, to his bus on the run. He had to head back to base. I don't know. Maybe he was just, like, super late. Um, I don't know. But there was a but point is there was another bus, like, less than, you know, I mean, you could see it. Like, I mean, you could see it up the street, and it was kind of stopped at the lights. So, like, okay, that, that's going to be here in a couple minutes. 
And uh, <clears throat> so I'm like, all right, that's fine. Uh, kid next to me gets all all in a huff about it. He's like, wait, why, why didn't he stop? And it's like, well, you don't, I don't, I don't know, but there's another bus right behind us. And he's like, oh, well, that's, well, well, I, I don't care. That's not my problem, you know? So, and so grabs his phone and starts calling the, 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 the transit company like he's going to report a late bus. And the funny thing is the second bus pulls up. And while that bus pulls up, you know, he's on the phone registering his complaint. And ultimately, it ends up we have to wait for him to, you know, the bus driver decided to wait on him to finish his call. And it's like, dude, like, first of all, it didn't take that big of a chunk out of your life. And you ended up holding up other people because you, you decided to, I don't know, not 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 take a breath and look around and and see that see see the good in the situation. So, yeah, I mean, I may talk about that a little more. That idea of just like slowing down and breathing and doing, you know, th- th- thinking. I mean, I I have all kinds of stories about that. You know, now that I've gotten older and I'm a little less less hair triggery. I mean, I, yeah, I used to be like that too. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Actually, this went a little longer than I wanted it to, which I guess happens when I talk, which hopefully bodes well for my GDC talk. So. Cheers, guys.